Hello and welcome to this very special broadcast. Uh, we are interviewing someone who is the latest exit from the Congress and the latest entrant in the Trinamool Congress. I would like to welcome my guest, Sushmita, Sushmita Devji. Thank, Thank you so you. much uh, you. for speaking to NDTV. I have to admit and say that this is a peculiar situation uh, as a journalist where in Indian politics we are seeing the friendliest exit <laughs> and the friendliest entry into any political party. We have not seen the Congress party uh, wish someone so well and continue to say the same and you are doing the same. So I am not going to get into this personal connection that you have with the Congress, the Congress has with you. Uh, this interview is not going to be about personalities. Okay. My first question to you, Sushmita ji, is what were the reasons and circumstances why you felt the need to leave a party which you still so much admire? Let me start by saying that what are the reasons which did not play a role in my leaving? Uh, it was not anger against my leaders. It was not anger against any party decision. It was not because of lack of any opportunity because in the last 30 years of my own politics and 40 years of my father's Congress politics, uh, we've got ample opportunities. So I think uh, when I give, when I say this, uh, you know, a journalist like yourself can't understand then why leave at all. And I think it's a very, very uh, fair question. Uh, see, I'll tell you that there are certain circumstances in a political life where a party does many things in the greater interest because the party is bigger than an individual. But uh, I thought this through. I uh, worked very hard in the assembly elections. In my valley, we got 9 out of 15 seats. But on an assessment of the situation, my personal situation politically, I felt that I had to find a way not to harm the Congress party and I had to find a way to put up a better fight in my area. I am not talking about the rest of Assam. And the Why only couldn't you have done the same in, uh, by being in the Congress? See, because the circumstances, the situation has turned into such a thing. Can you elaborate on the circumstances? See, I, I, I mean, like I said that I don't question any decision of the party and uh, if you join a party and a party decision is taken, you have to accept it and I accepted it gracefully. But I do feel that when I look at the mood of the people in, you know, my area, my valley, mm. uh, I believe that I am in a better position to protect uh, my ideology, protect the ideology of the Congress and the secular ideology in a much better position maybe with the Trinamool Congress. Mm. That does not mean I am saying that the Indian National Congress is going to die there or die in Assam. Mm. It's none of that. So there is no conflict of interest here mm. is what I am trying to say. This uh, the decisions of the party impact the party in one way mm. and impact a person in a different mm. way. But that doesn't mean the party is wrong in taking certain decisions. So and I don't I, think my decision is also yeah, if wrong. I, if I understand this correctly, uh, you, your personal decision on how politics should be done and the party's decision were different. And since there was no meeting ground, uh, you did not question the decision making of the Congress party, yet decided to choose a different path for yourself. No, I may be wrong. That my, my assessment uh, of the situation was that Congress is definitely a force to reckon with in the state of Assam. There is absolutely, I mean, I, I can't challenge that. But I personally... Personally, the way I felt about it as an individual politician, I feel better placed in uh, Trinamool Congress and uh, don't know, I may be right, I may be wrong, only time will tell. But I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, in the future, in the future, the larger picture which is emerging in the country of the entire opposition staying united, that will uh, work for the greater cause of actually giving a viable alternative uh, to the BJP. Sushmita ji, see, you, you mentioned that you would be better placed in the Trinamool Congress. I understand that. My only point is, how was your being in the Congress party limiting your growth prospects? Not at all. I was the All India Mahila Congress president. I mean, I was in many important committees. I have got nominations over and over again. But... 
this is this is my personal view as an individual that i felt i felt that the area where i come from the area where i come from uh, you know i felt i felt that my i will better position in the trinamool congress and i also want to say right now as we speak trinamool doesn't really have a presence there mm. so it's not like i have jumped on to a you know ready made situation mm. you have so, to build yeah, something afresh i have taken a i have taken a huge risk but i have faith mm. i have faith that uh, uh, this decision is not going to uh, work to either the uh, my detriment or i feel the political scenario that is emerging here is definitely not going to be counter see the point is if in assam you are looking at greater prospects for yourself and for a party which you will now help build not revive the congress would have been a revival story the trinamool congress in assam will be building something afresh so do you think that this is going to uh, be the opposition working at cross purposes in a state like assam see with you the being the enabler as recently as 4 months back or 3 months back when assam went to election west bengal went to election mm. congress and trinamool congress fought against each other mm. is mamata di saying mm. that that was counter productive to me so now i am not going to talk to madam sonia gandhi ji no mm. that was one purpose and this is a larger purpose mm. so is sonia ji saying that west bengal congress went to zero because of mamata di so i am not going to talk to mamata di no so you see to connect the two because you go see if i tell you i have no reason for leaving mm. uh, that answer somehow is not acceptable to anyone no so it I, will also be dishonest yeah so i have said the reasons are there and i'm telling you that personally i felt that i would be better position in my area uh, from trinamool congress despite in other words, the fact you, that in other words you were not being uh, your personal ambitions were perhaps not weighed in or factored in in the congress there, there is a see i'll tell you something there's a huge difference between being ambitious which is not a bad thing and aspirational mm. and survival they are all at different levels mm. so my idea was not to harm the congress my idea was not to take a ideological somersault and yet hope that the larger picture stays intact and i also survive in the process how was your role uh, being limited in the congress this is what i want to understand because this is the enigma just want to understand you see you have aspirations for yourself which is not a bad thing as you rightly mentioned but the point is why could you have not done this in the congress party was it being limited by certain local factors or decisions taken by leaders who were responsible for the politics of the congress party in assam okay i'll i'll give you an example like the general secretary in charge i'll i'll give you an example i have been in many screening committees where there's an alliance okay so let's say samadwaji is now asking for the seat for whatever reason okay but the but the fact is that maybe congress has a better candidate mm. so just before the election the congress person goes to the samajwadi and fights on that ticket mm. Mm. correct but that is politically it's a political viable thing mm. so what i'm saying is you're asking me why couldn't you do mm. what you want to do now in the trinamool which you couldn't do in congress mm. and i hope that example uh, uh, that example serves the purpose so it will remain so, a friendly and, and, fight It, see it's not about friendly fight the the, the good thing the positive thing about the, the my situation if you like since you are asking me repeatedly for the reason mm. that uh, there is no animosity here and i believe we will not be in an adversarial position mm. uh, after i took this decision and i don't intend to put anyone mamata di or madam sonia gandhi in that position but i had compelling reasons to take this decision because i felt it is not some personal aspiration mm. i will be better positioned in my area sure now let's talk about the future we've right. talked enough about the past the future uh, sushmita ji what are your expectations from the new party for instance how will this be different or how is this a challenge for you and what will that challenge be see one thing is crystal clear to me That are you going to build the TMC in Assam? See, 
Trinamul is a national party and mm. so is the Indian National Congress. Mm. We know that the spread of Indian National Congress is far more than uh, Trinamul Congress and that is by choice. Mamata Didi chose to concentrate uh, in West Bengal. See, it's barely been a little over 48 hours since mm. I joined uh, the new party. So I haven't really had very prolonged discussions about the roadmap. But I believe I believe that just like I thought it through, they thought it through and I am sure that they have a plan. So once it unfolds, uh, uh, I am sure they will go public with it. But uh, whatever role I get, whatever role I get, whether I am restricted to my previous seat, whether I am asked to, uh, you know, uh, create the organization from the grassroots in Assam or in any other state, I will take on that responsibility and I am ready for it. So, it, uh, you don't just look at your role restricted to your seat or state, it could be anything. Whatever, if Mahmoudadi says that your role is going to be only in your constituency or is going to be outside your constituency, I am uh, willing to uh, take that on. But just like I took a step for a very big reason, I believe my common sense told, tells me that Mahmoudadi in these circumstances allowing me to come from the Congress party who she is talking with into the party, mm. she must have a plan. Mm. And I also mean, battling allegations of poaching people. I, I did hear that press conference of Derek O'Brien, you sitting by his side and him saying that uh, when someone uh, approaches us, this will not be seen as poaching. Am I to assume that you approach the Trinamool Congress? See, I will I'll tell you something. Whether I approach them or someone else approached me, maybe not directly Mamatadi or uh, whatever, uh, I don't think it's relevant now. Because I, I have made a choice and I'll have to live by my choice and I'm quite confident I'll do well. And I want to like say that uh, Mamatadi is my leader mm. and will be till the day I'm in politics. Sonia ji was a mother figure to me and she'll continue to be till the rest of my life and many, I don't know how else to put it. Many many Congress leaders have jumped ship to the Bharatiya Janata Party yeah. and that has been one huge ideological swing. I don't see that uh, in, in your case but uh, did that thought ever cross your mind like a Himant Biswa Sarma or other people from the Congress who jumped to the BJP B that you should do too? BJP is untouchable to For me, you. yes. Okay. And let me take you back to what I said. When I talk about my position in my constituency and going to Trinamool to put so that I feel more secure is to fight with who? Mm. BJP. Okay. Because in Barak Valley where I come, there is no other party. Mm. So my, my enemy is the same. Mm. I'm, I'm, my enemy is the same. And I believe where Mamutadi and Sonia ji are uh, looking at uh, far more... Uh, uh, you know, uh, far more uh, a role nationally mm. to fight the BJP which is destroying the nation together. Mm. I feel my move is going to help that purpose. I am confident of that. Okay. I uh, want to ask you a personal question. Yeah, sure. Do you think your uh, father would have approved of this switch? My father and Mamata Di go back decades. Mm. Decades. And... Uh, I can tell you something, uh, that relationship also was instrumental in taking this decision and I think provided I am true to my duty to uh, Mamatadi, just like I was to the Congress until the day I was there, my father would be proud of me, that's what I think. You know, because I see uh, there is a very close connection that your father had with the Gandhis, you have had with the Gandhis, with the Congress party. I see a lot of old pictures. Yeah. Uh, will, it, will it be hard to for you to, you know, snap these ties from the Congress? Not at all. Mamutadi left Congress. Mm. And look at Mamutadi's relationship with Sonia ji. Mm. So, there is a living example I am giving you that... There is a way... But the TMC also did business with the BJP by the way. Yeah, I remember during Bajpai's time, but yeah. this is not Bajpai's BJP, let mm. me tell you. This is not that BJP anymore, so... No, but then like for the Congress, the BJP is, you know, an untouchable. untouchable. But for the Trinamool Congress, that has not been the case. Though they are fighting the BJP. But I will tell you something, after the recent results of the West Bengal election, mm. I think the writing is on the wall. Mm. 
Mamta is out to Mamta Didi is out to decimate the BJP, and I think the entire nation knows that. That that that's crystal clear. Doesn't matter what happened in '98. This is not that BJP, and what BJP is doing to this country now has never happened in the post-independence. Uh,